SVGs have become really popular on the modern web. But unfortunately, most of the tools that produce them don't yet do a good job of writing lean, optimized files. That means SVGs are larger than they need to be, and that produces slower websites. CodeKit can optimize SVG files with SVGO. Here, I have an SVG file selected, and in the inspector pane, I get a preview of what that image is and all of SVGO's options for how I should optimize this file. At the very bottom, just like every other language in CodeKit, I have an output section where I can tell the app what it should do when this file is processed. Here I have it optimized, but I could just copy it if I wanted to skip optimization. And where the output should go. Now I can configure these options on a file by file basis here in my inspector panel. Maybe some SVGs need different options. Or I can jump into project settings, select SVG under the languages category, and configure these options here. When I change one in project settings, it immediately affects all SVG files in this project. With that done, all I need to do is go back to my list and click optimize to optimize this SVG file to its output path. One important thing to note is that SVG optimization is not enabled by default in CodeKit. You'll have to go into project settings, select SVG and change the output action because by default it's ignore. The reason for that is that unlike other image formats like JPEG or PNG, SVG files are really just code, and when SVGO optimizes them, it overwrites your input code with the minified version, and you may not want that. It's a potentially destructive action. Therefore, you'll need to opt in to SVG optimization if you want to use it. Of course, CodeKit can also optimize raster-based images, pings, JPEGs, and GIFs. This is especially important for animated GIFs, which can get really bloated. I have an animated GIF selected, and I get a preview of the image as always, and then information about the file, followed by my standard output path section. Most image editors these days produce very optimized raster images, so you may not see a lot of reduction when you optimize pings and JPEGs in CodeKit. The fact is, they just can't get much smaller without reducing quality. All of CodeKit's raster-based image optimization is entirely lossless. However, I do plan to add lossy compression in a future update. Another note, the initial size here is always what the file was when CodeKit first saw it. If you add an image to the app and then go back to your image editor and say, make that image larger or add more detail and then resave it, it's possible that even after optimizing it, the current size will appear larger than the initial size. And that's just because the initial size was with a smaller file one that had smaller dimensions or less detail, etc. Unlike SVG optimization, raster-based image optimization is on by default in CodeKit. It'll just happen when you build your project or save an image file. The reason for that is these files aren't code-based, so overwriting them with a minified or optimized version doesn't result in any kind of data loss or destruction.